truth be told, I haven't been doing too well. Yep, Shanaz needs her groove back. So my friend Keshni suggested that I go to this, it's beautiful, it's a human potential center, she said. I have no idea what that means, but I'm here. All I know is it has hot springs. Okay, wait a minute. My friend did not tell me that everybody was naked in these hot springs. It's a clothing optional human potential center and people go into these hot springs naked. Listen, I come from India. My people are traditional. They did say clothing optional though, which means I can wear a bikini. First day in the hot springs. The sun's out in the Big Sur. It's kind of cold outside, but it's beautiful and warm in these hot springs. The first time you came here, were you a little bit apprehensive about taking all your clothes off? No. No? No. You're okay about being fully naked? That was fun. My parents and my grandparents, they raised me to be um, pretty comfortable myself. So it was like being at home. I was super stoked when I was able to just be free and naked in these hot springs. I shed a layer of inhibition that came off with my clothes <laughs> as I got into the hot springs. And the whole experience of being here makes you shed layers. It makes you come alive. It's day two, and there you see behind me the naked man cleaning. So, uh, have you? What kind of conversations do you guys have in the hot tub? Oh man, they get pretty deep. Really? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty deep usually. Well, what do you talk about? Um, you know, uh, esoteric. You know, what's the meaning of life? Mm -hmm. Why are we all here? Or you think that you're a dude and you're too skinny or too small? size-wise, mm -hmm. um, that's going to come up because you're naked. A lot of people down here say, well, nobody's looking at each other. They're all very respectful, so it's, it's all okay. You don't have to worry. And I don't think that's true. No. I think everyone's taking little glances. And part of learning to be comfortable here is, is learning to be comfortable with that part of it. All the self-help books and put them together. And that's what the workshops are like. What happened in your group? Which was how they know. How do you handle that? You don't always have a choice of who comes into your awareness. I've learned a lot of this um, by being myself and discovering myself. And what I want is to connect with myself and the world as deeply as possible. And words sometimes get in the way of that. The body never lies, so I love going through the vessel of the body and offering and inviting and uh, letting us move that way. I guess nakedness isn't a sexual thing to me, it's just, you know, it's natural. Think about whether or not I shave my legs today, and if people see that, or what state is my pubic hair in, and yeah. what is someone going to think about it? And then I think, whatever. It's the way we came into the world. I don't, I don't think it's that big a deal. I would come down in the summers and the winters um, from about age four to age ten. But I got a chance to see that naked bodies come in all shapes and sizes. Looking at a female pod body is like looking at an arm or something. No. 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 <laughs> My last day today and I am so sad to leave and I have to go and just leaving this beautiful beauty behind. It's sad. Don't want to leave, don't want to leave, don't want to leave. No mom and dad, I haven't joined a cult. No, I am not part of some kind of naked hippie movement. I am just exploring. I feel happy. Maybe I'm just a happy hippie.